This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Ang bayan natin ay humaharap sa isang krisis at isang hamon na uh, matatansya ko eh limampung libong beses ang uh, peligro kaysa dyan sa pork barrel issue. Because we are uh, talking about a $1 billion export industry that may uh, collapse uh, and also not just uh, to face this collapse but also to miss out on the uh, potential of growing this industry into a 10 billion dollar export industry ano po ito alam na siguro ninyo ito ito po yung ating uh, uh, niyog na napakarami ng produkto na ating nakukuha dito hindi tulad dati copra lang ngayon eh, siguro hindi bababa sa 10 klaseng mga produkto ang pwedeng uh, ma-export po natin at magamit natin para sarili natin. Yan po ang kahalagahan ng nyug natin. Ngunit, dahil dito sa nangyari itong nakaraan na apat na taon sa ilalim nitong si Penoy, ano, this BS Aquino, uh, our coconut industry uh, involving uh, livelihood for 25 million Filipinos is in uh, the greatest peril it has faced in the past hundreds of years. At uh, isa sa hindi masyadong naririnig ng publiko pero isang pinaka-champion po ng industriya nating ito uh, ay ating uh, inanyaya na makapagpaliwanag po uh, tungkol dito sa peligro at yung tamang solusyon dahil may maraming naririnig na yung solusyon uh, mula sa iba't ibang mga institusyon ng gobyerno na naatasan na uh, harapin itong uh, hamon ng uh, uh, itong kokolisap ano uh, na sumisira ng sumira na ng 30 milyong uh, puno siguro ano hindi ko hindi ko alam that's why we invited our resource persons so our first part is entitled from bio remediation to 10 billion dollars cocoa export and um, ang leader po ng uh, Balik Provincia movement uh, si Ginoong uh, Jose Tito Osias Tito uh, we have uh, only part 1 ano uh, which is 15 minutes and uh, uh, may dalawang artik artikulo ka dito na dapat uh, ma mapaabot natin ng laman doon sa ating publiko. So, you have all this time. Please, go ahead. Well, the first thing uh, is to look at this kokolisa problem that uh, was neglected totally by Administrator Forbes of PCA and by Secretary Alcala of the Department of Agriculture. This so-called Calabarzon coconut infestation. I think the first thing that we need to realize is this is no longer just a Calabarzon problem. Uh, Basilan, Zamboanga, Palawan, and most recently, General Santos have also been infected. And I understand as of yesterday that parts of Camarines Sur have also been infected. And worse than that, what is happening is that all of the coconut products are affected. Tuba has lessened in some cases its production by as much as 75%. Pero na, nagiging toxic ba yung mga produkto? Hindi naman. Pagka-process, wala naman effect sa'yo. Depends. Yun. Those that are being injected with the chemical solution mm -hmm. of uh, Mr. Uh, Forbes and Alcala will mean that we may lose the entire 100% of our coconut export market because the, the, the world does not like chemical-based products mm -hmm. in their food. At saka ang coconut, hindi nalalaman ng marami naturally uh, organic siya kasi walang ginagamit na chemical fertilizer dyan and so on. Wala ah, pa, except itong gagawin nila ngayon na pinapainiksyonan nila ng neocotinoid, mm -hmm. neonicotinoid, mm -hmm. yata na, ang, na chemical na 
sinasabi nung mga tao ni Forbes dati, at saka mga tao nung SAGIP, mm -hmm. yung SAGIP Task Force mm -hmm. ng DA, mm -hmm. na ito raw ang solusyon kasi wala na raw iba na makakapuksa dito sa coconut infestation. But that is a lie. That mm -hmm. is a total lie. As a matter of fact, what happened here, uh, Mentong, is yung mga tao na in charge of the SICAT team and now the SAGIP Task Force actually hid the organic solutions because they are committed to using the chemicals kasi matagal na silang tumanggap ng kickback doon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is the reality. But the reality also is that there were many tests conducted and many trials conducted under the aegis of the PCA and DA. And one of these involved a 30-hectare pilot project, a 33 pilot project in Bailaguna involving biotechnologist Egay Maranan uh, whose uh, basic approach is not to destroy the coco lisap as much as to strengthen the coconut tree. And with the bioremediation technology of uh, Egay Maranan, the 30 out of 30 uh, Nag -survive at na all gumaling. grew and now are even producing at higher levels than they used to produce when they were productive. So ang ibig sabihin niyan, yung uh, puno yung, ng niyog may sariling uh, kakayahan na talunin itong mga lisap na to. Actually, pare, parang sa tao rin yan. Mm. Kung masama ang immune system, mahina ang immune system mo, madali kang magkasakit. Mm. Kaya sa tingin ko, hindi dapat yung pagpatay ng kokolisap ang hinahabol nila at gagamit ng chemical. Kasi kung mapatay man nila yung kokolisap sa chemical na yon, mapapatay din nila ang buong industriya ng nyug. Oh. Yung kokolisap, hayop yun, ano? yung lisap na insect. yun? It's an it's insect. It's an insect. Okay. But it's only one of the contributory factors to the infestation. Mm. There is fungus, there is mm. bacteria, there is basically the lack of nutrients in the soil. Kailangan magsama-sama ba yan? And yes, all ah. of these have to be attended to mm. so that you can strengthen the immune system mm. of the coconut mm. and make them resistant to all kinds of uh, pests and uh, insects. Ngayon, narinig ko sa uh, saglit lang sa uh, ulat, sa mga ulat, na ang depensa nitong nagpo-promote nagpro galing pa sa uh, ano, UP Los Baños, ano? Ay, hindi naman talaga marunong yung UP Los Baños sa uh, uh, bagay na ito kasi uh, uh, kung talagang magaling yung ginawa nila sa UP Los Baños, bakit lahat ng coconut tree sa UP Los Baños ay patay na? Mm, mm, so sa akin, I don't think that we can count good. on uh, the approach being proposed by uh, the former Chancellor uh, okay. Ray Velasco uh, okay. about using chemicals because they cannot show anything to okay. show that they know anything about okay. coconuts. So that's a uh, uh, incontrovertible proof. But you know, proof, just no? to be fair, uh, just uh, to be fair, uh, uh, Mentong, I think we should also point out na meron ding mga tunay na interesado na tumulong mm. sa coconut farmer sa UPLB. Kaya lang, hindi sila ang nangingibabaw ngayon. Ah, okay. Sa well, politika, like, talo sila like, sa grupo. I'd like the public to know who they are if they are uh, uh, going to be allowed. Ano? I'm, I'm going to invite Egay Maranan nga. Inihintay ko yung kanyang telephone number. Baka you have it. And, uh, I'll give it to you later. Okay, I'll later. No? later. Now, uh, I have also uh, received some uh, ideas in paper, on paper na Meron daw beetle na pwedeng ikalat dyan. A variety of beetle from Africa, somewhere na panlaban sa dis disap daw. Actually, they said that there is a predator that they can bring in from Fiji or Indonesia. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you introduce uh, some more insects That's that right. are not That's indigenous right. to the place, it will create ecological imbalances right. uh -huh. that we do not know the results. Okay, okay, no? good. Uh, so I just wanted to find out nga yung uh, reaction in Although it, it is true that they were able to use this successfully in Fiji. Ah, in Fiji. And in parts of Indonesia, they were able to succeed. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't know whether or not uh, this has been thoroughly studied by mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. Ang pinag-aralan uh, lang talaga nitong uh, UPLB chemical group mm -hmm. is yung paggamit ng chemical para meron silang tanggapin na kickback. Okay. Yung uh, bioremediation, ano ba ang sangkap niyan? Uh, All organic uh, products. More fertilizer ba uh, na organic and uh, ano bang... It's a little complicated in mm. the sense that the first uh, area that you have to look at is how receptive the soil is mm. to absorbing nutrients mm. and transmitting these nutrients to the plants that are on the soil. Mm. That's the first part. The second part is that the plant itself, the coconut, has to have a well-developed immune system so it can withstand not only the insect infestation but also fungal infestation, infestations and uh, bacteria okay. and microorganisms. Uh, we don't have enough time to go through the technicals but at least we have a start no? and we'll be inviting you again and uh, Egay Maranan and we can continue to inform the public about uh, 
uh, how this is going to be done. One of the questions that was raised by that news report I heard was that itong uh, mga biological uh, methods, ano, uh, mahirap daw dalhin sa mga bukid. Is this true or is this false? The biocontrol... Uh, yeah, the methods, the materials, <coughs> and so on. How well, to spread it quickly. Alam mo, Mentong, mm -hmm. yung chemical, yung bio, yung bioremediation mm -hmm. na sinasabi namin, at saka yung biocontrol, mm -hmm. are all approaches that mm -hmm. can beat the cocolisa. Okay. But the problem is that chemical will also destroy the entire coconut the market, industry the market. and the market oh, itself. Oh, no? the market. And the biocontrol, it better be tested before we introduce a new ecological disaster. Okay, okay. So the safest hmm. way is to use bioremediation, which incidentally is not only going to strengthen the coconut itself, that makes it uh, more resistant to all of the threats against it, but more importantly, and this is very, very well demonstrated in Dabao and in Bae where this has been used, is that increases the yield of the coconut by as much as two to three times. Can we, do you have a video of uh, Egai Maranan's 33s and, and uh, the history of this? And now we can show it on this station. I think that you'll have uh, to ask Egai about that because, okay. uh, and actually the PCA has that, ah, but okay. they suppressed that information Ngayon under na. the time of Forbes because they did not want that there is a bioremediation uh, formula that can be used. Uh, they were so, pr they were so uh, intent on pushing a chemical, the chemical solution, solution. And that is why they even put that in as the first line of attack against the infestation in under the EO-169. Okay. Well, uh, this is a first, uh, very first initial uh, discussion natin. You know? It's a bit short. Uh, so we'll, we'll repeat this again. I hope you will have time when you invite you again. Now, uh, tell us a bit about your Balik Provincia. How did it start? What's the philosophy? What's the objective? Well, the philosophy behind Balik Provincia is empowerment of the countryside mm. and introducing entrepreneurship in the countryside. Mm. We focused on two major Philippine industries first, agro-industries, because both are the same type that you plant once and it's good for the next 100 years. Uh, tulad yan, coconut, coconut and bamboo. Bamboo, okay. Our, uh, the, dis the difference between coconut and bamboo is that coconut nandyan na, nakatanim na. Mm. Yung bamboo, ide-develop pa natin yung mga plantations. Kaya kung meron kang gustong mas mabilis, yung coconut ang unahin natin, kasi nandyan na yung raw materials, hindi lang na natin nakikita kung paano gagawing finished products itong raw yung, materials yung, natin. Yung coconut mo ba, sinasama ba yan? Yung production ng ubod ba ang tawag doon? Actually, that's, that's a good question, Mentong. Kasi ang mga tao, ang nakikita nila, isang coconut tree. Mm. But in reality, the coconut tree has five different life phases. Mm. In the first phase, it is a seed, not a seedling. Mm. Doon manggagaling yung sinasabi mong ubod, tsaka pwede mong gawing mas ma mas marami kang itanim na seedling para mas marami tayong maitanim. May maani kang ubo at iba pang mga produkto. Tsaka makakatanim pa tayo ng bagong coconuts kasi matatanda na yung mga ibang coconut mm. trees natin. Pangalawa, pagka umabot na sa lumalabas na yung puso ng, ng coconut, doon naman nagagaling yung tuba na ang dami naman manggagaling ibang produkto dyan, kaya ng coco sugar, mm. yung coco soy. Eh, yung tuba mo. Yung tuba na, uh, yung lambanog na gagawin natin. Pan, ipapanlaban mo sa French wine o ano? Hindi, French cognac. French cognac. Armagnac. Oh, Armagnac. At saka English single malt whiskey. Uh, we At have to talk about that again. Uh, ha? Iba pa yun. Pero yun ang isa sa mga... Dadala ka ng sample? Meron ka na ba? Meron tayong mga sample hmm. na. Pero yun ang mga pwedeng magdagdag dun sa ating export hmm. values. Oh. Kasi ang nakikita ko, hanggang raw material lang eh. Copra lang ang binibenta natin. Kaya walang pakinabang mga Pilipino. Okay. Last uh, one or two minutes. Bakit 10 billion? Kaya bang 10 billion from 1 billion dollars? Actually, we're at 2 billion now. No. Oh. We figure that the... Dahil sa coconut water at coconut, uh, ano, uh, coconut oil, oil, VCO. Uh, VCO at saka coconut pero water. Pero hindi no? pa talaga na, na de-develop yung mga market na yan. Mas malaki pa market ang ma-de-develop mo sa VCO. Mas malaki market pa ma-de-develop mo sa coco choir. Meron pa itong ginagawa natin ngayon sa lambanog at yung mga related products. At marami pang ibang manggagaling sa coconut meat at sa coconut okay. milk. No? Well, so lahat yan, yeah. pagka pinag-sama-sama mo, maliit ang 10 billion dollars na market potential natin oh. sa exports. Okay, anyway, we have a third part to continue with this with uh, June Castillo and uh, PCA Director uh, Sunny Villariba. Uh, last 30 seconds, your message sa ating publiko? Well, I hope that uh, June Castillo and uh, Sunny, Sunny Villariba will find a way to work together because itong uh, pokolisa problem natin, eh talagang ginigising tayo mm. na napa, napakalaki ang potential ng ating coconut industry. Kaya lang, kailangan magsama-sama tayo, yung gobyerno at saka private sector, bubuo tayo ng mga entrepreneurship type projects 
para pakinabangan natin yung raw materials ng okay. coconut. Okay, 10 seconds. So, mukhang may hope ngayon with the new leadership in the PCA. Mukha naman. Mukhang magaling itong si Romy Arancon. Arancon. At saka mukha namang... Uh, may paninindigan. Itong si, itong si Kiko Pangilinan. Kaya lang, sana lang, eh, masuportahan natin ng mga programa nila para maibaba natin kaagad okay. sa mga farmers. Maraming salamat, uh, Tito. Salamat. And uh, uulitin natin ito. Uh, let's take this break.